Jay McLean, baby. Uh, brother Daniel, Daniel, let's go. Greetings, brother Daniel. Greetings, Shakara. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Once again, give me facts for your patience, bro. Um, no yeah, myblackmarket.co.uk. Let the people know what that is and who you are. Um, well, first of all, big up um, yourself, Shakara. Brilliant presenting all day. And um, big up your lecture series that you've been doing as well. Big up Nat Nice, Celebrity. Um, their contributions with Voyage to the Motherland and their, and their series like that. Big up um, Sister Matt as well. Uh, big up the whole Good Kush TV. Big up on Cozy. Um, yeah, so my name is Matt, uh, Daniel Lister. Um, I founded a company called My Black Market, also by Black Clothing. I don't know, probably, you've probably seen the T-shirt before. Um, I founded it in uh, 2014. Um, since then, we've been going, as I said, for it's come up to six and a half years now. Um, we've grown to a team of about 16 people and um, we've grown a database of over 10,000 black owned UK businesses and the aim is to basically build a black UK economy. Um, I said going from about 2014 we've been around around um, all of these high profile murderings and killings apart from I think Trayvon, Trayvon was the only one that was slightly before but um, what we've noticed is every time one of these kind of killings and things happen is there's a big outcry and we get like a spike of attention and people all rush and people want to sign up and people are excited and then you find you know a few weeks later when love island starts back again everybody's forgetting about the black empowerment everybody's gone and going and doing their, their own thing and i mean i think it's very um interesting uh especially like what kwame Torre said about the difference between mobilizing and organizing and also what um, Omwale Africa said about having a, an emotional response rather than an ideological response. And I think um, right now we're in a position where we're in a very mobilized, emotional kind of state where everybody's like, yeah, let's buy a black, yeah, let's buy a black. But unless we kind of convert that energy into something long term and sustainable, then um, this is going to kind of dissipate and die out. So. Um, one of the things as well is that people keep as soon as, as soon as something like this happens everybody goes yeah let's build a black directory a black business directory but the thing is black i've been kind of been an advocate to say that black business directories by themselves don't work you know what i'm saying it's like when was the last time you used a directory for anything you know what i'm True. saying is when they used to put like thompson and yellow pages to your door and it was them times that you used to use it so when these things happen people have an emotional reaction it's almost like well i haven't been doing black empowerment now this thing has happened, I'm emotional and I want to do something. So the first thing I say is directory by black. And, then, and the issue is we've already got 20 directories out there with black businesses. They don't work, they don't uh, gain traction. So you add them to another one is not really doing anything. And even the whole idea of by black, I think a lot of people say it as an emotional response, not really understanding why we buy black or what the purpose of buying black. You understand what I'm saying? So say for instance, we set up a directory. Everybody knows where their local patty shop is. And from now on to the end of time, everybody goes and buys patties for the rest of their life. Are we empowered? Have we stopped the George Floyd killing? Have we, do you understand what I'm saying? Now, people don't really understand the whole strategy to that. So my whole thing is when we say um, buy a black and everything that we do, even in business in general, when, when you set up a business, the idea is to solve a problem. And the question is what problem are you solving with that business? So with my black market, the problem we're solving is what we call the hole in the bucket problem. So we know that the um, BAME community has a disposable income of over 300 billion every year. Um, the issue is we spend 95% of our money outside of our community. So what we're doing with my black market, I initially started going down the kind of directory side of route. The idea was you get any product, service, or skill from a black owned business or person. But then as I was going through that route, I realized that, hang on, this is not really solving the issue or the problems that we really wanted to do. So I kind of went back to the drawing board and created a whole new system in which we can now create like we create like a what we call like a three step system, which is number one, service finding. You can find your black owned businesses, which is essentially like the direct side of things. But then the second step is like verification. So verification allows us to verify that these businesses are actually black owned. 
because we know we've got a lot of imitators in the community that are pretending to be black-owned businesses, but actually they're Asian-owned businesses or white-owned businesses. And we think we're supporting black-owned businesses and all our money is leaving out of our community. So that's step two. And then the third step is what we call supplier matching, is where, because we've got this database of so many different businesses, we can then add the suppliers to all of these businesses and then make sure that every um, that all the money that you spend with that business then goes to another black-owned business supplier and therefore plugging all of the holes in, in our community. So it's all nice saying, yeah, let's all go and spend to a black business. But if they go and then take all that money to an Asian supplier, then what do we do? All we did is we just kind of just redirected one step before the money leaves the community. So um, so I said, so we've developed this system now where we can lock in all of our money um, within our community and it can never leave. So that would be 300 billion year on year. And if it bounces like 18 times like in the Jewish community, that aggregates to 5.4 trillion year on year would be held within the black community. Um, and so we've got an economic platform where not only can people um, buy and sell and trade. So we're, we're basically creating an economy of products, services, knowledge and money because uh, the resource of knowledge is very important because we've got a lot of brothers and sisters that work in various different industries. But there's no effective way for us to share that knowledge between each other to know to know what that is. So I said with this platform, we also having all of this economic activity go through. It also allows us to. Um, approach the situation from a very data-driven perspective. So um, what you'll find out is that in this country, there's no statistics on black-owned businesses. There was only ever done a study by Barclays in 2011, and that was only based in London. So the whole thing is they don't even categorize black as a category, let alone study it. You see what I'm saying? So when we see a lot of these statistics, it gets skewed a lot by these Asian and Arab businesses, and we think, oh, we're doing great, but actually we don't even know what we're doing. So if we don't know what the issue and the problem is, you don't know how to solve it from a uh, data-driven uh, perspective to, to move forward and do that. So that's one of our aims as well to, um, as I said, because we've got this large database and we've started building like a data analysis platform, we started analyzing where our business is and what areas we're in and then how we can address these problems um, for myself. Have you heard of um, Ubele? No. I just Ubele, they're an organization that do public initiative. Uh, Ubele initiative, they provide stats mm. For the black community they were um, very um instrumental in getting some information about covid19 currently two years ago they provided a document which was all about how we uh, how many buildings that we acquired you know in the 80s and lost and what is remaining right now they they provided lots of reports like that it would yeah. be really good to hook up with them in terms of your data that you you're um, gathering uh, yeah. and what you're, exactly what you're talking about in terms of bringing forth that those stats that are very valuable so people actually can uh, correlate what is happening in the UK in terms of uh, black owned businesses and how much money we are actually uh, collating and where can it uh, actually go in terms of stabilizing uh, our economy because black empowerment isn't just about going out and shopping right it's about what is that money going to go back into we don't need handouts anymore we've mm. got economic base that we can tap into to say to, to um, pay for the youth clubs they want to shut down for example or uh, support the schools that are out there already trying to and the parents that are trying to come away from the systems that are uh, racist or whatever so Ubele yeah. initiative will be good um, to kind of marry you two together so mm. I'm, I'm going to put the information up on the chat yeah definitely do that so I can check that Robert, Daniel, looking from, um, just a real quick Leading from what Stella's just said, Daniel, I just want to know, where are we, from your, your analysis, where are we doing well? So we've got, um, well, how do you define well? I can tell you where we're kind of heavily collated. Can I, can I do a share screen? Is that, can I do that? Yeah, go, go. yeah let me do a share screen. So big up to my My Black Market team. I'll show you a bit of the uh, data analytics platform that we've built. Um, let me know if you can see my, can you see my screen? Yeah. Can you see? Not no. yet. No, one second, bro. I can't see it yet. Hold on. Um, so I should see it so I can so I can send it through to share it live. And I can't see it at the moment. You can't see my screen. No, you might need to click another button. Uh, uh, once you click share screen, choose the window. Um, uh, okay, let me go. Yeah, okay. Can you see me now? Yes, I can, bro. One second. Yeah. Let me know when we're, when we're on. Yeah, go on. Okay, so this is basically big up to the My Black Market team. We've actually, with our database, we've actually built this uh, data analysis 
data analytics platform where we can start analyzing um, all of our businesses. So we're only basically supposed to be based in the UK, but um, we've got businesses as far as Australia, um, this is Zimbabwe, Nigeria, uh, Ghana, we've got Caribbean, we've got America, etc. So also we've been able to, all the business that we have, we've been able to actually locate and break down exactly where they are. So we can see all of these dots represent uh, uh, black owned businesses all throughout the, the country. Um, and we've got some even as far as uh, Scotland. But um, you can see we've got all of our email addresses and the business names. But if you go to like the categories, you can actually see the amount of different categories that we're in, accommodations, account, African center, au pair, art, bars, book sales, uh, business services, carpets, flooring, clothing, dating services, designer, electrical, you name it. Like we're in so many different areas that we don't even realize legal, locksmith, music, networking, oil and gas, photography, plumbing, recruiting, spiritual, talents, etc. 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 So um <laughs> yeah, so that's so that just goes to kind of um show um how far I and mean, how wide we are with all of our um, businesses. So the aim of my black market is I said we've got so many people doing so many great things in different areas. It's just about making that as a system that everything ties together into one. So it's like putting all of the cogs of the machine to, together to make it everything benefit for everybody, one um, whole people. Fantastic. That is That's incredible. Outstanding. Brilliant work. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Um, bro, we're going to have to let you go, yeah? Um, yeah. So, so we can move on with the program. But we, we appreciate you. And there's there's definitely more work that we have to do together in terms mm. of like, that market you've got Kush TV. Um, and so no doubt we'll be, you know, we'll develop upon that in the future. Proper yeah. appreciate it, King. Yeah, yeah so that's myblackmarket.uk or buyblackclothing.uk you can go to as well. So. Yeah, phenomenal. Myblackmarket.uk. Thank you very much, bro. And also for your moral support and encouragement, we appreciate it, bro. Mm, then we'll respect, respect. Power. So, yeah. We, so we like the fans, yeah. Like Bless yeah. up. Daniel List, the kings and queens of myblackmarket.uk. Make sure you check out the thing. Trust me, the brother dropped some serious information and is developing some serious resources. And you know, that it's one of them things that I'm talking about, you know, family. Like, you're not going to see it, like, all to, to collate what he what he just showed you in terms of that map. He's not going to be on the road, yeah? What's it called? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, um, you know, on a camera. You get me? That's, that's, that's a lot of, like, behind the scenes kind of, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That people are not going to know about until you see the manifestation of this of this, of this this map with all these dots on it. And it's, it's a lot of work, kings and queens. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so we have to just appreciate that uh, behind the scenes, a lot of things are going on. So I want, I want people to really understand the practicality and the levels of of the people that we're bringing through to you at the moment yeah as we've been um saying we can be very very um, critical and it's good to be self-critical but sometimes our self-critique is paralyzing because we actually feel like nothing is going on when it is yeah um and so we need to do a better job of, of talking about what is actually going on uh, and that is the whole point of today that is the whole point of black pound day that is the whole point of the black economic show and that is the whole point of this all day um kings and queens all right so we've got a, a, another set of messages so do stay tuned Shame the clean, baby. Are you black and proud? Are you cultured and know enough about your history to at least know you came from greatness and not slavery? Did you know that the wealthiest person in all history was a black man, Mansa Musa I of Mali, a 14th century African king? Black people are tired of feeling economically deprived. Have you ever felt that black people should have progressed in this country much more than we are currently? In fact, it seems like we're sliding backwards instead of moving forward. Are you tired of the lack of resources and feeling drained? Have you observed our communities being gentrified? Have you noticed our youth feeling like the elders never left anything behind for them? Now we have to start life from scratch. We are in a very depressed state as a result of all of these factors. We are creating an opportunity to empower our community to do something about this situation using one tool that gives us a fighting chance, education. With our new show, we intend to help our audience to be informed about the economic state of the black community and its connection to their lack of money. To be educated to a new solution paradigm, namely group economics. 
find outlets and resources to practice group economics. You will also learn directly from top scholars and entrepreneurs about the paths to success. Learn more about the history of blacks and the black businesses in the UK. Learn where black businesses are located in the UK. Learn the code of conduct for practicing group economics. Learn directly from top scholars and entrepreneurs about the paths to success. It's a 30-minute show hosted by Diana Powell. Each week, she will start with a weekly introduction to group economics. She will then bring on top scholars such as Robin Walker to discuss a historical situation in which group economics played a part. The likes of Shell Phoenix to discuss black people's spending power and other spending behaviour. Next, Charmaine Simpson, who explores the mechanics of group economics and what black people should be doing now. Lastly, weekly, the audience is introduced to actual businesses in the community they can support right away. We invite you to tune into the Black Group Economics Business Show, the solution to the lack of money in the black community, every month on Got Kush TV.